first match, the right arm, Ryman's versus Doug, which one? I am tr tragically rooting for Doug, but I believe that he is in super deep water with Coach Ray, and I think Coach Ray's a bigger guy. And um, but I'm hoping that Doug understands that it's uh, it's going to be real difficult. I mean, he seems real confident, but I think hopefully he knows how difficult it is and that he doesn't compromise and he does not get into a match with Coach Ray. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know that much about Doug. Um, it's not in my weight class, uh, but yeah, uh, Ray looks super impressive against um, my boy Ryan Bowen. So I imagine he's getting stronger and he keeps looking leaner and more fit. And he's, um, yeah, I, I would think in my mind he's got to be the favorite. Coach Ray's one of them super smart dudes, man, that gets into arm wrestling and it takes him like two and a half, three years, and all of a sudden, he's a bad dude. And a super heavyweight match, Corey versus Fedit. This is left, right? Left arm. Man. Yeah. Left arm. Yeah, left arm. I am just praying that uh, Corey doesn't do what Cody did and come over here and have a terrible showing and get walloped. Um, however, I do have concerns with Ferret being... Um, you know, kind of on his home turf. I feel like if you're, uh, if you spend any time in Istanbul or close to here and then you take a match here, it's going to be hard to beat that guy. Like I, I told Cobra he was in trouble arm wrestling any Turkish guy here in Istanbul with Ingen being in charge. You know, it's like home cooking everywhere. Right. <laughs> Let's go, Corey West. Corey West is uh, the future for the, the U.S. heavyweights. I mean, I think he's knocking on the door of Dave Chafee probably even left-handed. So I, I think he's he's probably the best in the United States right now. Farad, we got a big, long history. Love to see him do well. Um, he looks like a big bear again. <laughs> you just so, say Corey was the best in America? Um, yeah. I still yeah, live in America. Yeah, yeah. You cannot even Man, say I'll it. Bust you cannot even bust that gorilla's ass. I one. will bust his ass. Oh, you used to toyed. live in North America. Now you live in Dreamland. Uh, three years ago, he was toying oh, with you. That guy man, is so much stronger now. All jokes aside, <laughs> so I ain't going to keep getting treated like this in here, all right? So, but anyway, back to Farad. Um, I hope he does well. He's in for a uh, tall order with Corey. Corey's a, a monster. So, um, should be a good match. Hope it's a good match. My fear is that Corey only loses because of his cardio. Oh, he's if he needs to be efficient. Just take the set grip. Win. Take a rest. Right. Don't be up there. And you know how you know how Corey's hand and wrist has gotten. He's is almost on top top rollable. I mean, I don't know if there's anybody <coughs> that can top roll that guy. Yeah. And, and if, if Farad's yeah. only top rolling now. Well, that's uh, right handed. No, no, no. I think left handed. He still has it. Little hook. Okay. Yeah, Ferret's going to be carving, yeah. and I'm sure that it's not going to go. It's not going to go down right away. But you're right. Then it can, could, could come down to endurance. And Corey. Yeah, Corey just needs to be smart, man, and know that he is. He can't lift his elbow. Last yeah. time he pulled me, he was lifting his elbow all over the place. Well, that's <laughs> listen. He can't breathe after about 15 seconds in a war, and then it becomes. Yeah, a but I don't think oh, he's so planning to have a war. No, of course not. I but listen, he's... not only should you, but you ought to plan on. When you see the war happening early in the match, you need mm. to get out of it. You don't have to arm wrestle for 30 seconds mm. inside a hook match just because he happened to get you there. You I can. Think, I think he's knowledgeable enough to do that. He's. Yeah. Well, all I know is that he was stronger than Alex Kradetska, in my opinion, when I watched their match. But he lost that match, right? I think he was probably a little stronger than you. Yeah. And he ended up losing that match, yeah. and it all becomes yeah. his. You know, listen, man. When, when people can't breathe, it is the most humbling thing in the world and when it comes to MMA, arm wrestling, any sort of endurance sport. And Corey needs to know who he is and be very efficient early. And if he gets in a war, make sure it's round five and not round one. The next one is Curtis versus Rob. You Let me go take first. It. I don't even know who the two people are. Zorab, uh, Zorab is uh, oh. extremely powerful in hook. I think he's on the level of Todd Hutchins. Um, Curtis Cameron, new guy of Canada, obviously trained with Devin Lorette. Um, says he's ready. Looks like he's ready. Uh, but he's going to have to be really very ready to beat Zorab in his power and wrist-to-wrist -wrist hook. 
So uh, I'm going to have to say Zerb's probably the favorite. Well, Zerb's got to win, right? Yeah. He's already been over here 12 times and lost eight times. <laughs> My goodness, unless he's Ingen's uh, brother-in-law. Curtis why does he wins, keep getting all these if matches? Curtis wins, I will be, I'll be pleasantly surprised. I'm rooting for Curtis, but I have a, I have a bad feeling he's going to be running into a wall with uh, Zorab. Zorab it is. And the next one, another very important match, right? John versus Irakli. I hear this old guy, he's going to kick the crap out of the young. There's a lot of people playing the game. <laughs> Only one can be the best, and he's right here. Nah, he's got to win, right? Because Todd beat him, so you got to beat him. Right. If you don't beat him, I got to go back. And not only that, harder. but all of a sudden we I know that. In my corner, yeah, I mean, you, you know what? I was thinking salt. about that. Smelly solver. You know what? Keep me I'm really good. I'm a really me. good corner guy. I'm <laughs> really good. I'm going to need somebody to wake me up. Do you believe that Iraqi is the same Iraqi that showed against showed up against? Tatachis? Yeah, I think he is, and he I is think not, that I think so. Yes. Yeah. Listen, I am telling you, Arakli has a tremendous hand and outside move, and it works against every person in the world except a couple weirdos. One of those weirdos is Todd Hutchings. If he gets John in that little thing, it's John's not gonna, you know, hand busted back a little bit. Just push down in there. Todd's a different animal, and I feel Arakli gets a lot of bad credit for losing to that match. But the truth is, that's a matchup problem um, for Arakli, and it doesn't mean it's still a problem. It was a problem six months ago, or whenever yeah. that match. Yeah, goes. no, I still, I yeah. still haven't figured out in my mind exactly what I'm going to do with that that kid. So we'll have to see as it as it unfolds, whether I go towards him or away from him. I think initially I'm going to go away from him, see if it holds up, but we'll see. It is certainly going to be a match of wisdom versus power, though, right? No, Jonah also has power. I mean, youthful power. Yeah, I mean, my biggest worry with a Reckley is is the is the speed factor. It's the youth yeah. of being hit aggressively out of position where I have to just pull from just stupid stupid positions off the start. If I can if I can be aggressive, match his aggressiveness and and maintain the center after the go. I'll be golden. I'll be smiling. And <laughs> when does, and when does, yeah, and when does the fine. compromising start, right? Because John's a compromiser, right? Like yeah. he'll crush you the first match, and then he'll let you get a better grip, a better. And I think that with Ungerbaev, it kind of reared its face yeah. when he should have been a little more aggressive, just like the first match, every match. So he has been coached from me to be very, um, very selfish, um, at least until you're up 2-0 because listen that one little kinked wrist problem it could be a could maintain so i can't test this hook you can but not until <laughs> you, you cannot not get until uh, yeah uh, not until you well, told you me that can. with arson too but i still yeah. tried three times <laughs> and then you lost that's all right you know what else <laughs> you can do is, all right i think it was right you can take that first match but you don't have to take it all the way to the pad you can take it and then look give a little bit back. everybody that i've taken to that spot had Given up though. No doubt. <laughs> smart guy. Smart yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. So you should, you know, you just Travis, need to know that that. You will be commentated, but only for that one match. You want to stop commentating and be at his corner? Whatever you want. I, no, I'm no, cool. I mean, yeah, I'm he, down he, with whatever. Feels, yeah, I'm a good coach. I love being yeah. on the sideline. Because, because he would. But just, honestly, too, trust, that I, that I don't I'm know if I can help you beat him. I can just fire your fucking ass up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't think there's anyone that can teach him anything, but... Right, yeah. Because also, too, I don't know, like, you know, that guy might be a real problem for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't need to hear that. I don't need to come back to that corner and go, that dude's, That's a, real, what I'm that dude's a real That's problem what I'm saying. saying. We got, but to me, if I think that he's a problem for you, then it's going to be like this yes, crazy, are you gonna, fucking are you aggressive, gonna, oh, crazy. Oh, okay, good. You're, you're not going to have a white towel in your head. You're not going to throw the white towel out. Oh, <laughs> shit, it's over. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> this match. You better commentate. Yeah. <laughs> because any moment, he can tell him something oh, to discourage him, you know, so yeah. <laughs> better not. He's throwing the white towel at <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Though. But I do, like, a guy's got a good, he's got a good place, even in his losing, like that, he goes towards that pad, but he's taken as he's going towards it. And he just right. needs a little. <coughs> Todd Hudson doesn't care. If you take his hand a little bit, it's kind of new. It's kind of natural. So, but also too, let's think about this. 
that John is the most different John because of his Zorkin? future endeavors. Right? He's got some other matches signed. So maybe he just runs over this cat too. That'd be sweet. It is all about when we hear the ready go. Yeah, where the what? match is going to end. If John ends up here, it's over. If John ends up here, center, it's over again. Some of my best matches have been when I've come into a, a match feeling the worst. So you just you just never know until it unfolds. I mean, I yeah. But so even if you I'm stop, even if you stop him at the center or something, don't underestimate him. You no. will be smiling, no, no. but you be careful. But still, yeah. 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 He may turn John Garber match. He wouldn't want that. No. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Paul versus Rustam. That's a world title match at right. Yeah, I believe that's another match where I could help Paul being in his corner. I think that Paul's going to naturally think that he needs to stay outside with Rustam, and he does. I understand why he thinks that, but it's not, it's not going to be easy to do. I think a better strategy would be to stand up tall, get high as he can, and know that it's going to go in the hook. And it's got to go in the hook three times, and that third time, you can you can you can take control of the match because the first couple it's going boom it's going fast and if you try to get out of it it'll even go faster <coughs> so sometimes it's better when and Rustam doesn't always come forward but if you top row and, and you're committed enough he will come towards you to hook you but if when he comes towards you you can go towards him too and you can get the height and then because he looks like Paul's gonna be bigger. But I don't know, that's a scary match. I say uh, Rustam yeah. is the favorite 70 30, but I say Paul needs somebody in his ear telling him to go motherfucking crazy. Yeah. I, yeah. Rustam, I mean, it just depends on the shape that Rustam's in. If he's in tip top Rustam, but by a form, um, it's. Yeah, I, I don't see too many guys. Well, I don't, I don't suspect Paul is good enough to top roll them. Maybe his pronation is enough where Rustam can't come crashing down on his bicep. But like you said, if, if, if pulling back like that or trying to pronate to, to establish, to shut that off fails, it just makes it that much worse. Yeah. You, don't, you don't have the ability to, <laughs> you, you to save here. yourself. <laughs> so but, and luck, luckily enough, he's got you know three matches to figure it out. So hopefully after the first one, if it doesn't go well, hey, he'll, he'll be smart enough to, to be more prepared for the wrist-to-wrist -wrist combat and, you know, commit his frame and turn into Rustin a little bit more. And <sighs> Paul is strong enough. I mean, I think he's, he's, on, young the, enough. he's on the level of, you know, some of the light heavyweights. So there's, I mean, he's got plenty of power. What is the weight? 209? 95, yeah. But I will tell you something. Uh, Paul has more chance against Rustem than Todd has because Paul is much more explosive yes. than Todd Hutchings. Todd Hutchings, you know, zero to sixty speed is kind of a little bit slow. He's old. Yeah, but, but yeah, and also that, too, but, but um, Paul is Todd really explosive. Needs, Todd needs the referee to like. Todd would have a better chance of Rustam with Leonard Harkless saying two different words mm -hmm. than having the. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the hell that is. And then, because, man, Rustam is like lightning aggressive quick. He needs to be ready, go, so that it's a slower start. Because I'm telling you, that match stops in the middle of the table. I'll take Todd over Rustam every time. But he just can't seem to stop the match. Yeah. Well, Rustam's uh, pulling him perfectly. He's pulling Todd right on his bicep, just like Prudnik did. He's yeah. coming right on his bicep and not thinking about going sideways to the pad at all. If you try to go sideways with Mr. Hutchins, it's a, it's a bad, bad plan. Um, and Mabayev comes, sets up like a top roll, but comes straight down on that bicep. <laughs> so. Another light heavyweight title. This time it's Kadri Gali versus Michael Todd. Right on. Listen, Michael Todd, if Michael Todd is the champ, everyone hates him. Do you know what Michael Todd's job is? To beat the champ. Not to be the champ. Just beat the champ. So Michael Todd's on a bit of a losing streak, which is very happy, makes, makes, makes everyone happy. Because Michael Todd is not a great champion. He's a bragger, kind of looks at you like you're beneath him when he's the champ. Now that he's a humble, just competitor, I am, I 
I think that that Ungerbayev is the champ, meaning he has the win over John. He's got this little streak going on, pulled Levon really well as a little dude. So I hate Ungerbayev now because of his talent. So everyone, if you if you're an arm wrestling fan, you're either emotionally involved with your buddy or you're rooting for the underdog. I'm rooting for Michael Todd as the underdog. Let's go! Make it 20 minutes. If it takes 20 minutes, it takes 20 minutes. I have a wager on Michael Todd, so I'm, I'm hoping Michael Todd wins. I think Michael Todd should win. I wouldn't have bet my own money on it. Um, Ungarbayev is super explosive. He's got a great top roll. Uh, it depends on how well Mike starts. If Mike has been known to start from the strap in a pretty good spot on the offensive side, if he gets that, then it might be game over. But uh, my worry for Ungerbayev to win the match is I don't ever see him really shoulder roll, and I don't know if he'll commit to a shoulder roll. I think he'll try to do the endurance game and continue to, to pull Michael out on his hand and wrist. And I don't know if he can outlast Michael in that respect. That's going to be a duel. <laughs> I think hey, Michael listen, might outlast that. Now, Michael Todd, to me, the best match we can hope for is Michael Todd winning 10-minute match, right? But one other thing that does interest me is Mike getting absolutely handled and always looking at his girl and stuff. Like, I'll take that, too. I don't want to see Ungerbayev win a four-minute match, but either lose a 10-minute match or kill his dude. Yeah, Ungerbayev's not strong enough to, to flash pin Michael. I guarantee you that. I have, you know, I just pulled him two months ago, he, or three, four months ago. He's not strong enough to pull that off, but he can be calculated enough and have enough endurance and maintain hand and wrist position if he's smart. Um, to outlast Mike. Yeah, and he could just Maybe. put Mike in some weird position. But he's got to still have to figure out how to finish Mike's him. mental. Yeah, Mike needs to. He needs to, he needs to get control, and even if Michael has stopped him, not let go of the hand control so that Mike thinks that he's right. just there. And will, will he try to pin yeah. when he's got Michael's hand? Which well, most people try to do, and that's the worst thing you can do. If he stands up and, and plays kind of the three quarter center yeah, of the table. Yeah, and if he falls, if he falls to actual win and doesn't pin him, pin him it's, over. it's over. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. So let's go, Michael Todd. And the final match, the main <coughs> title, the main match, Jerry versus Georgie. To me, every match that Jerry Cataret pulls overseas will be a 50 50 match because Jerry Cataret does not possess the ability to put you in a bad situation. He puts you in a good situation that you can't finish him. You know, that when he gives you his hand, you're in a good spot. Like, that's where you train. That's where we all train. Complete pro nation, we had it all. The problem is, for Georgie, is that Georgie appears to be a, a very outside, outside puller meaning his body is going towards the pin pad even without his hand. And that is perfect for Jerry to slide that shoulder right in there. But I think that Georgie knows he can't do the same thing and uh, that you know it's gonna, be, it's gonna be good. And one other component is Jerry's been training a long time. Jerry's usually a six month train guy, pull the match, go into hiding for two years. This whole coronavirus, East versus West, uh, WAL talking about coming back it's all forced Jerry for months and months and I mean Jerry without arm wrestling Dave Chafee he is without arm wrestling one American he has reached the number one in America which is unbelievable because all he did was beat Gennady in a very 50-50 match that I saw I mean that match could have went either way I mean it it's 100% going to win either way. If you slow it down and watch the matches, you might even think of Nadi won 4-2 to two if you watch it. So um, it's amazing that Jerry has reached the, uh, the amount of fame um, for actually not pinning an American guy. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, he could be the guy, though. Maybe he, could, maybe he is stronger than Dave and you. Gennady beat Dave. So he beat Gennady after that. So right, but even Gennady, Gennady, Gennady right. was ranked about there after the win. So right, but I'm just saying, like you think about the fact that Jerry Cataret lives, you know, a couple hours away from us, but we got we don't see him unless you come to Istanbul. That's just it's different. No, he was know? pulling W. Yeah? He did. He did pull the W that one year. He did. Yeah. No, he pulled that one. He pulled. 
Taka Ching, Sipu, I think. Uh, yeah, it was a one year span where he ended the year and Michael then he came Cole. back the next year and then they ended it. So he pulled four matches. Yeah. Right. Nothing. Which isn't bad. I mean, I'm just saying he still, to this day, has never even been in a match with Dave. It's always been just easy. Six, seven, just no problem. But right now, I think that our community probably thinks that he's higher ranked than Dave. And he, maybe he is better than Dave. But you know what I'm just saying? In the past, Dave was just pulling like with a wrist curl and dragon hook. Mm -hmm. Now, after he get top roll a few times, he started to pull more outer side pressure. With yeah. pronation. Might, I think it's it his bad match. Yeah. For, Match up for Dave against Jerry. Yeah, if you go yeah. from out. Well, of course, right. But yeah. you, I mean, does Dave? Would, what would make Dave not do exactly what he's always done? Well, just people, like he, he's, do you realize that once Morozo pulled him in the dragon hook, Morozo beat him. So what I'm just saying that once you start pulling with pronation base, 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 your that drag hook is not as strong. Your arm wants to I got you. pronate. Once you understand? Yeah. I, got you. I also think that uh, if if you stand up to Jerry, um, the best. Jerry's best against guys that don't know him. The more you get to know him, the more, like, I mean, let him pull Gennady three more times, and I bet it's a whole different story. Gennady, all of a sudden, you start taking instead of letting Jerry take it to you. Yeah, Which, don't get me wrong, I've only taken it to him twice. And the yeah, other five it, times, he was taking the, it to the, me. The time that you made it look easy was like the, the, how Devin made it look easy. You stood up and actually, you, of all people, shoulder roll the shoulder roll. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what, really? It was really easy, right? To, and all you have to do is not move. His motion, will he'll pin himself. <laughs> like, if you set up that wall over there, he'll come crashing into it and his arm just goes straight down. If you leave that area, then he puts it in there and it's all jacked up, man. That's a... But it's, you know, you got to look in the mirror. You got to stay up in your hotel room they're better, looking they're, at the mirror. There better be some tanks of oxygen for that match because that's going to be a lot of beef up there. <laughs> I think Georgie looks great. Does he? Yeah, he's yes. big. He's massive. It, it looks, depends, you know, just which look. way he's going to pull. If he goes like this, it's bad. bad. Well, his elbow won't be able to stay on the table. That match will be really bad from a cosmetic standpoint, if he falls back, Jerry's no, gonna- No, he didn't train though, he trained this this way. Of but course. two months he had, I don't know if it's enough or not. Yeah. And it's also too, it's so strange, because you're up there with Jerry and he's pushing you into this perfect top roll. You're like, oh, I love it. But don't do it. Don't <laughs> yeah. do it. Don't <laughs> do it. That temptation, yeah. Okay, what's the next one? That's it. Yeah. Ah, this one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. And we cut half the matches so the video is only shorter. Okay, yeah. That's good. Yeah, there was too many matches before anyway, right? <laughs>